Hello, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make decisions in market stress simulation game using all the information provided to you. Before we talk about decisions, and I want to just briefly review the market stress environment. Uh, in this simulation game, there are two markets, Sonar market and Voda market. The two markets are independent from each other. Sonar market is an existing market. Every company who compete in the marketplace has two brands. Product life cycle is at mature stage. In Sonar Market, there are total five different segments of consumers. They are professionals, high earners, explorers, shoppers, and savers. Voda Market is a brand new market. No brand exists in the market. There are total three different segments. They are innovators, adopters, and followers. The strategic question for every team is, first one is related to uh, Sonar Market. And how many segments do you want to target on in Sonar Market? And which segments you want to target on? And why you want to target on those segments? There are several reasons why you want to choose uh, certain segments. First, you see the segments may have a lot of potential. Market size for that segment may expanding in the future. Another reason may be because you have an existing brand that very close to that segment's idea value. So that way you don't really need to modify your product to target on that segments. The next question is related to the Voda market. And do you want to enter the Voda market? If yes, which segments do you want to target on? So once you determine which segment you want to target on, you need to identify your target consumer's idea value along the different characteristics of product. Then modify your brand to be as close as possible to your target consumer's idea value. So the strategy is the same for both Sona and Vodama. To get to know the idea value of your target consumers, you must purchase either semantic or multidimensional scaling studies. So next, I want to uh, show you in the simulation game uh, where you look for those information and how you're going to implement the strategy. Here's the main page of your Marquistra simulation game. The company results information reported all the results for your own company. Market competitive news are public information. Every company will get the same information every period. For market research, everything in market research section is not available until you purchase it. Although in some situations, they give you the initial data. If you do not purchase later, and you will not have that information. The tool section is depending on which tool you are using. Some of them using market research information. Some of them use market competitive news information. Therefore, some of the tools may not available if you do not purchase certain market research studies. So first things you need to do is you want to look at where your position is and uh, how you want to determine which segment you want to target on. Now, remember, uh, for the first period, before you purchase any market research studies, uh, you may not have those information allow you to make those decisions. So for the first round decisions, the best recommendation is uh, keep the status quo. Then you need to purchase market research study here. Consumer survey and panel, those information will be at the consumer survey and panel uh, section. And you have a distribution panel section. Then you have semantic scale, multidimensional scaling, market forecast, competitive advertising, and competitive commercial team will appear in your competitive intelligence tab in the market research section. And advertising experiment, commercial experiment will be in the experiment button. Then you have a control analysis. This is for Sonar market, and the Voda market will be the same. So my recommendation is in order for you to know the idea value for each consumer segment in the marketplace, you need to purchase either semantic skill or multidimensional scaling. If you purchase one of those studies, it should give you sufficient information for you to make a decision. So let's take a look at this market research section and the semantic skill. If you purchase a semantic skill, you will have information in this tab. And if you drag all the way down to the bottom, you will see the brand maps for all the five characteristics of the product and again is the price. And in this brand map, you will see exactly where your position is and where the five segments idea value is. 
So those are the five segments idea value in seven point、uh, semantic scale. Those are the brand name existed in the marketplace, and along these two attributes, let's assume I'm a company L. I have、uh, this product along here, and also lock is. At this place, you can see the loan is really far away from everybody's idea value. The best strategy for me would be modify this loan to target on the savers. And so, if I do R and D project this period and next period, I will be able to modify this product and to target on savers. The new project you want to work on will be. Using the saver's idea value to do the ID project, then you use that project to replace product loan. For the lockers, the best strategy you could do is using that to either target on shoppers or professionals. The, you may say, "Oh, this is very close to explorer." The reason is, explorer in the five years of time, the market will shrink, so probably not the best. Segment for you to target on, so you can use a lock to target on the professionals, or you can use a lock to target on shoppers using the loop to target on the professionals. So this is only looking at the feature section and the price. Now we can also look at the design and price, battery price, display price, processing power and price. At each of those perceptual map. What you need to do is move your brand close to your target consumer's idea value. So this is your goal. Now, next step is how do I make the R&D project to replace my product to make the product as close to target consumer's idea value as possible? And remember, the semantic skill only gives you the seven point consumer perceived value. So it's not actual product characteristics. How do you convert this semantic skill to actual product characteristics? In order for you to do that, we're going to use two section, and there is a regression based charted semantic. So if you click on this one, you have idea value trend. Then you also have a characteristic estimate graphs. Using this graph, you will be able to convert a seven-point semantic scale to actual product characteristics. For this graph, I'm looking at the relationship between the semantic scale of number of features and、uh, actual characteristics of number of features. If I put my mouse in the shoppers, you will see the semantic scale number is one point eight nine seven. This semantic scale corresponding to the number of features at six point nine four four. In other words, when you do the IND. The number feature should be six point nine four four. Now you can change the characteristics here. Let's look at a processing power. So for the savers, the semantic skew is two point four zero seven. The processing power should be twenty six point five. So from this tool, you will be able to convert the semantic skew to the actual number of Characteristics of the product. Once you determine the strategy, you should be able to do the R and D project using this tool. So this will take care of the research and development、uh, section. For the brand portfolio, you need to know how to do the market forecast. That decision you can use the market forecast and the market report information to determine. How many percentage of the market share you want to get? Then you can estimate how much you want to produce for this brand. One thing you need to remember is when you forecast your market demand, you also need to be prepared. If you are going to modify your existing brand the next period, make sure you don't want to have a lot of inventory because once you modify your product, all the Inventory will be sold to the trading company at a very low price. Once you know which brand to target on which segments, you should not have any problem to making market mix a decision. And also, you have a commercial team decision, which is you need to allocate your commercial team into different distribution channels. The information you need is from consumer survey and panel. If you click on this one. You will see at the bottom. You can see for the each segments they show you the shopping habit for target consumers. And for example, if you target on savers, and twenty eight percent of savers shop at specialty store, and sixty one shop at、uh, mass merchandise, and twelve shop at the online store. 
So if your brand is targeting on savers, you can use those proportion to allocate your commercial team at a different distribution channel. So market research studies, again, we talk about several studies, which is very important. I include a consumer survey panel and semantic scale. Of course, you don't really need to buy those uh, market research studies every period, but you need to purchase at least once to give you idea how consumer behave and uh, what are your target consumer's idea value along the different characteristics. So I think this is uh, really the key for you to make a decision and to start with. Hope you enjoy the video and see you next.